Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by the Congregation of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us today. This devotional was written by Alvin Jenkins and read by Joey Smith. Our Light, Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And also, Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 and 6. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. For a long time, these two passages seem to me to be saying the opposite of each other. Do your good deeds so others could see them, yet pray in secret and be rewarded in secret. Then one day, I either read or heard something that shed a new light on them. I had always thought of my light as being like a glowing body. I guess that's from watching too many movies. However, our light is more like the light from a flashlight held by someone leading us in the darkness. The light doesn't shine on the person holding the light, but shines on the path before us to lead us safely through the darkness. Or it's like a lamp whose purpose is not to shine on itself, but to light the area so that we can move around safely. Or maybe like the lighthouse that shines out into the darkness to help ships know where they are and avoid danger. While our individual lights may be small and the darkness around us is large, without our light there may be portions of the path that are dark or not clear. There are other lights that overlap ours, and their lights overlap still others to continue lighting the safe path. Together we can make a difference. The trick is to always make sure our light is not shining on us or the wrong path, but that it shines on the path that Jesus showed us through his words and deeds. Let us pray. God, may this day of my life be a light that shows the right path to those I meet along the way. Amen. In 1740, John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, preached a sermon in Bristol, England, in which he proclaimed, The grace or love of God, whence cometh our salvation, is free in all and free for all. 283 years later, we're humbled to proclaim that message through this Grace for All podcast. Thank you for listening to today's message of grace. I'm Jonathan Jonas, Senior Pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, where the Grace for All podcast is written, edited, and produced by our lay members. To know more about our congregation and its ministries, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G.